is a short presentation on common errors in pupils work on trigonometric ratios. The first common error is that pupils get confused between angle and ratio. They don't seem to know the difference between angle and ratio. For example, here we have a right angle triangle with angle theta and the hypotenuse 13 units and other two sides 5 and 12 units respectively. Sine of the angle theta would be opposite side over the hypotenuse, that is 5 over 13. Sine theta is a ratio and 5 over 13 is a ratio. The angle theta would be equal to the inverse sine of the ratio 5 over 13. Theta is an angle. Inverse sine of 5 over 13 is also an angle. The trigonometric ratio sine of angle theta gives the ratio 5 over 13. The cosine of the angle theta gives the ratio 12 over 13. And the tangent of the angle theta gives the ratio 5 over 12. On the other hand, the inverse sine of the ratio 5 over 13 would give the result of the angle theta, which can be found from the calculator as 22.62 degrees. The inverse cosine of the ratio 12 over 13 also gives you the angle theta, which again can be calculated as 22.62 degrees. The inverse tangent of the ratio 5 over 12 would give the angle theta 22.62 degrees as well. Second common error is the unnecessary use of the sine rule in simple situations. Let's take this example of a right angle triangle with uh, two other angles of 30 and 60 degrees and the hypotenuse of 12 units and the unknown side x. Solve for x, the pupils tend to use the sine rule. That is, 12 over sine 90 degrees equals to x over sine 30 degrees. Rearranging, x equals to 12 times sine 30 degrees divided by sine 90 degrees. Isn't this requiring a bit more extra effort? Why not we use cosine 60 degrees equals to x over 12? Then x equals to 12 times cos 60 degrees. Or we could have sine 30 degrees equals to x over 12. Then x equals to 12 times sine 30 degrees. The third common error is forgetting the acute angle and obtuse angles and their trigonometric ratios. The obtuse angle is the angle between 90 and 180 degrees. The acute angle is between 0 to 90 degrees. How about 90 degrees? Is it acute or obtuse? Well, 90 degrees is neither acute nor obtuse. It is the right angle. This example, sine 150 degrees is equal to sine 30 degrees and from the calculator we can find that it's equal to 0 0.5. So inverse sine 0 0.5 will give you either 30 degrees or 150 degrees. In this second example, sine 40 degrees equals to sine 140 degrees and it's equals to 0 0.6428 from the calculator. Therefore, the inverse sine of 0 0.6428 will give you 40 degrees or 140 degrees. However, for the cosine and tangent trigonometric ratios, results are different. Take for example, the acute angle 60 degrees and its supplementary angle 120 degrees. Cosine 60 degrees is half of 0 0.5. Cosine 120 degrees, on the other hand, is equal to negative 0 0.5. And we can see that cosine 120 degrees is the negative of cosine 60 degrees. Also, the inverse cosine of negative 0 0.5 is 120 degrees only. The inverse cosine of 0 0.5 is only 60 degrees. Tangent 60 degrees is 1.7321 from the calculator. Tangent 120 degrees is the negative of 1.7321. You can see that tangent 120 degrees is the negative of tangent 60 degrees. Therefore, inverse tangent of negative 1.7321 is actually 120 degrees and the inverse tangent of 1.7321 will be 60 degrees only. In summary, 1. Know the difference between the angle and its trigonometric ratios. Secondly, use simple trigonometric ratios as far as possible. Thirdly, know that for sine, both obtuse and acute angles give the same ratio. 
but not for cosine and tangent.